Okay, you probably clicked on this video just so you could go and roast me in the comments. Pedro Strope in the Hall of Fame? Not a chance. But hold on. You're right, he's probably not going to get in, but I do think there is a strong case to be argued here. So just please watch the video first and then make a decision. So I'm going to stop talking now. Here is the Hall of Fame case for Pedro Strope. Alright, so it helps to know some background. So Strope was originally signed by the Colorado Rockies in 2002. He was actually a shortstop, but due to poor hitting, he moved to a pitcher in 2006. Strope actually never made it to the big leagues of Colorado. He was released by them in 2008 and was picked up by the Rangers four days later. He made his major league debut in 2009, and from 2009 to 2010, he pitched in 17.2 innings and had an ERA over 9. Strope's career really took off in 2011, where he spent time with two teams, most of the year with Texas, and then he went to Baltimore at the end of the year after the August 31st waiver trade deadline. That year, Strope finished with a 205 ERA, and in 2012, he continued success with a 244 ERA. Strope started off kind of poor in 2013 with a 725 ERA with the Orioles in 22.1 innings, but at the non waiver trade deadline, he was traded to the Chicago Cubs and had a 283 ERA in 37 games the rest of the year. He finished that year with an ERA of 455. From 2014 to 2018 with the Cubs, Strope has never had an ERA over three. During that span, Strope has also pitched almost 60 innings on average per year. And twice he has had a whip under one. So I'd consider 2011 to 2018 so far to be the prime of Pedro Strope's career. And during that span, he has pitched to a 281 ERA. I do think Strope has a few more lights out years ahead of him, since most relief pitchers' primes can last for about 10 to 11 years. If Strope continues pitching like he is, I think we could see his career ERA drop down to about 280 by the end of the next three years or so. This would give him a better career ERA than Wade Davis, Sean Doolittle, Cody Allen, and Zach Britton. And those are all really good pitchers. Now this 280 ERA might not be enough to beat today's relief stars like Kenley Jansen, Aroldis Chapman, and Craig Kimbrell, but Pedro Strope does have one stat that is very, very good all time, and that is BABIP, or batting average on balls in play. Pedro Strope's BABIP in his career sits at 262, which is better than Kimbrell, Chapman, or Jansen and better than relief legends like Mariano Rivera, Trevor Hoffman, and Billy Wagner. The fact that Strope can induce weak enough contact to pitch better than many of the best pitchers ever means to me that he has a lot more potential than he realizes. Right now, Strope is kind of average in terms of strikeout numbers, but he allows a lot of walks. If he is willing to become more of a pitch-to-contact pitcher, his walks will go down, and if he maintains his stellar BABIP, I could see him taking his game to the next level. Strope is only 33, so he has maybe 5 or 6 years ahead of him to work with his change. If he does, I can see his ERA dropping to about 150 the next few years, which would definitely put him into Hall conversation. Basically what I'm saying here is, if Pedro Strope continues to pitch like he has been, he will be a good reliever but he won't make it to Cooperstown. If he uses his BABIP to his advantage and becomes a pitch to contact guy, he has the potential to join an elite club in the Hall of Fame. Thanks for watching. I know there will be people who disagree with me. I'm happy to discuss with you in the comments. If you guys have any suggestions of things you want me to do, either talking about the MLB or in MLB The Show, leave it down in the comments as well. It's Ben70, and I will see you next time.